Mia from The Frugal Chef. Hey, let's make some cookies today. These come from Simon from DLS Studios. Uh, I think the best cookies I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. So the first thing we're gonna do for Simon's recipe is uh, put two and a half cups of rolled oats into a food processor. We wanna pulverize this so that we can put it into our flour. Do not use instant oats, please. It will make a big difference. You need rolled oats. If you don't have a food processor, I don't know if you can do this in the blender. Um, you might want to try it with a little bit and see if it, you know, turns into a powder. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. So for our dry ingredients, we have two cups of flour in here. That's 256 grams. We have a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And this is Simon's big secret for these cookies. So, um, there you go. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> now I'm going to add those processed oats in here, and I'm going to whisk this. Okay, so now for our wet ingredients. I have a cup of unsalted and softened butter in here. That is 227 grams. Super important that your butter is softened so that you don't get lumps of butter inside your sugars. I have a cup of white sugar, which is 200 uh, grams, and I have a cup of packed brown sugar, which is 220 grams. I'm gonna cream this. I'm now going to add two eggs that are at room temperature to this. and a whole tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna cream this in. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. Simon's instructions are, if the dough is too dry, you can add up to a tablespoon of milk. If it's not, leave it as is. Um, I'm not gonna add anything to this. I think this dough is nice and, and moist, you know. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm now going to add 10 ounces of uh, chocolate chips. Now I'm using bittersweet chocolate. Simon says you can use whatever you want. You can even use, you know, chunks of cut up chocolate, so. Sweetened, a bittersweet, semi-sweet, whatever you want. Mm. I'm also going to add two cups of mini marshmallows. This is 125 grams, by the way. Okay, finally, I'm gonna add a cup and a half of nuts. Uh, they are chopped. You can use walnuts, pecans, anything you want. I'm using a combination of walnuts and almonds. All right, now we're gonna mix this in and I might need that milk, that extra milk. No, I, I'm not gonna add any more liquid to this. I'm going to scoop some of this with my cookie scoop and leave some space because Simon says they spread. You can obviously spoon this and um, if you prefer, you know, if you don't have a scoop, that's fine. I'm gonna put these in an oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 175 degrees centigrade for about 13 minutes. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on them. As soon as I see that they're browning, you know, the edges are browning, I will take them out and I'll show them to you. These took 15 minutes, not 13. Every oven is different, so just make sure you check on them. As you can see, the ones that had more, more marshmallows kind of melted. Oh my goodness, I bet that's fabulous. I'm going to wait till they cool down for a few minutes on the, on the sheet, and then I'm gonna transfer them to a wire um, cooling rack. Um, they're still soft, but they are hardening as they cool down. Ooh, very nice. 
Ah, uh, these are some of the cookies. You're gonna get about five dozen if you use a scoop. Of course, if you make them bigger, they'll, they'll have a little less, but... Oh my lord. Simon told me when it melts like this, it's going to taste like butterscotch. This is like the most evil recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to eat it. Oh. Couple recommendations. As I told you, they will be soft when you take them out of the oven. Let them cool down for a good five minutes on your, on your cookie sheet because it'll be easier to remove them when, you know, when the marshmallow has melted. Otherwise, it's gonna break, it gets kinda sticky. So just be patient, be worth it. All right, let's pick the gooeyest, most amazing one here, this one, <laughs> to try, why not? So it's a crisp cookie with a soft middle. Oh, mmm, mmm. <laughs> There's so many flavors in my mouth right now. Yes, that nutmeg definitely makes these very, very special. You can't really tell what it is. Mmm. The 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 marshmallow, in fact, tastes like butterscotch ah then you got that nice chocolate in there and of course all the walnuts and the almonds and oh lordy lordy this is a fantastic cookie i will have the recipe on the website for you to come and print it if you would like in the meantime i eat well without going broke i can't even think i'm so happy with these cookies <laughs> i'm gonna see you guys soon